What's going on? Thank you for clicking this video and welcome to Nerds of the Round Table, where we talk about Marvel, Marvel, and more Marvel. And Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness came out and we saw it, so we wanted to talk about it, give you all of our thoughts and whatnot about it. I am Snails and I am here with King Tut. Yo, I don't want to be corny, but the multiverse multiverse of madness was madness. Fucking crazy. I can't wait to get into it. Got so many questions, more theories. Theories completely blown out the, the water, and I am more frustrated than I was before I saw the movie. But it's okay. Let's have some fun. Now we're going to get into some plot points during the movie. This is everything that we feel is super important during this film. What's going on, people? Future Snails coming in to interrupt past Snails. My bad, past Snails. Just had to interrupt real quick. Uh, there's been a change of plans here. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and cut these videos up individually so there'll be individual sections coming out for each video. This video is literally going to be like an hour long, and I figure, you know, it's going to be easier to digest in shorter segments. So, you know, I'm going to hand it off back to my past self, but just wanted to chime in real quick and let y'all know what the De Leon is real quick. All right, peace out. So in the, in the Professor X does a deep dive for Doctor Strange into their past. And we see Thanos with his own sword impaled in his own chest, also like broken in half, kind of like what it looked like when Wanda did that shit. And he's got four stones the power of space soul and reality stone um and my thing is like how did they defeat thanos with no army they are that op but they can't defeat wanda like that and then you know what i'm saying like did any of the other superheroes even know about this conflict or did they just like keep it in the shadows like the illuminati does and then just handle it on their own defeated this man by themselves because there's only those six there like minus Mordo, obviously, because he wasn't on the squad yet. But like, I, and and that to me is one of those situations where it's like, there's where the connective tissue is lacking. Yeah, you know what I mean. There would be more people in that scene. Like they claim they filmed all these cameos and whatnot, but y'all didn't think to include like some sort of scene with the cameos that you already have around Doctor Strange as he died like the superhero community would have been there I feel like and not just those six unless yeah. they're those shady type of organization Illuminati that you see in the comics you know what I mean so right. I don't know it, it and it doesn't seem like they are because they're just out in the open just like hey man like just throwing the name around like ain't no ain't nobody's business Christine seems to know it's like okay well you're not the short shady that's just like one of those continuity things but i'm pretty sure that that's those scenes were like part of the reshoots and that's what happened like the i feel like the whole illuminati scenes were part of those reshoots i agree you know what i mean like i feel like professor x always there but then they reshot maybe like black bolt reed richards and i feel like captain carter was always there and maybe captain marvel too but i feel like they then just had to rush in these people again because I feel like it was John Krasinski that probably got like held up on whatever he was doing or with his family or whatever. I mean, he, he was doing Quiet Place 2 and then he just did the TV show. And then like they found this like gap of time where like, it's like, oh, he's available. We can actually do this fan service thing. You know what I mean? And that's not going to yeah. be our Mr. Fantastic in our universe, but it's going to be. It's just one of those fan servicey things they wanted to put in there. But then also they probably wanted to take out all the other cameos to make that scene more. Well, I mean, actually, John Krasinski probably is our. I mean, I could see it either way, but it's just because I, I think that they also planned to switch release dates for Quantumania and uh, Miss Marvel. But I thought that was because the captain or the marvels movie was just it needed more time see i think i was gonna say i think because it's because they were waiting to give people more of a confirmation that reed richards was in the movie because if we were getting quantum mania right after this people would have 
a bit more inclined to think that someone from the Fantastic Four was going to be in Doctor Strange. But yeah, I don't know. That's just one of those things. But yeah, Strange got disintegrated. And... But anyways, you have been listening to Nerds in the Roundtable. Be sure to let us know what your favorite part of this movie was, who your favorite character was, and if you had any issues with it, let us know that too, because we love to hear what people don't like. We want to know. And we love to hear what people like. But you have been listening to Nerds in the Round Table. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.